Alright, now I'm going to be doing a review on the 1989 film Cutting Class. Now, this is a movie that I rented off Netflix. Uh, okay, so there's the disc. Now, this movie is an hour and 31 minutes long, and this movie, it's about this uh, high school student who is uh, uh, basically like the serial killer, but the person, uh, you find out at the end, like, who the killer is, but... Throughout the movie, it's pretty obvious who it is, uh, and uh, it wasn't really that much of a surprising twist ending. Now, this movie, I thought there were some pretty silly moments in this film. I thought this movie wasn't really that well made, it was kind of uh, cheap. Uh, and also, I would say, like at the end where there's uh, the killer gets killed. I thought that was kind of a cool scene, but really I thought this movie, uh, all in all, is a pretty silly film uh, when I think about it. Like, some of the things the characters do, like, um, I thought were kind of silly. Like, there were some parts that I just didn't really think were that scary. There were some parts that I think the filmmakers were trying to make this film look creepy, but it just turned out to be kind of silly, and this is, uh, it's not a horrible film, but I just thought it's, you know, one of those typical 80s uh, slasher films that are sort of like B-movies, and this movie I would say is one of them. There's this one part in the movie, like the basketball game, uh, where the killer kills a, a person, like, uh, cuts a person's throat open, uh, in, uh, like, where no one's uh, looking, but it happens sort of where there's a lot of people around, and I thought it was kind of silly. And, uh, yeah, this movie sort of felt in a way kind of like a comedy film because uh, there were just uh, a lot of silly moments that I guess were trying to be scary but just turned out to be stupid. And I wouldn't really recommend this film even if uh, for a rental because it's just... Uh, not really a movie that I had a lot of fun watching. I kind of thought it got a little bit boring uh, near the end before the uh, whole outrage happened at the end. There were some annoying characters that I just didn't really care for, and, uh, you know, like, uh, when they get killed, I didn't really care for them, so I just didn't really care who the killer was uh, in the end, because I just thought this movie, um, I thought it was kind of bad, like, in terms of the way they wrote up the characters. I wish there was a bit more character development, and, uh, yeah, I thought that could have made this film a bit better, and also the acting really wasn't all that great. And I didn't really think there was anything too suspenseful about this film. It just uh, seemed like a typical movie, like the same serial killer film, and really there are some cliches in this film that just, uh, didn't really um, work all, all too good. It just seemed like very unoriginal and just a really boring film. I thought the killing scenes were okay. Like, there wasn't like a whole lot of blood and gore, but there were some uh, bloody scenes in this movie, but not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot you can really expect from this movie because uh, it's just uh, not really that good of a film. Uh, and uh, anyways, uh, I guess my rating, I'll probably give this like a 2 out of 5 stars, a 4 out of 10 stars. A uh, pretty mediocre film for sure. Uh, if you like B-movies uh, from the 80s or 80s slasher films, I guess this might be worth watching. But for me, I didn't care for it at all. And anyways, that's gonna be about it for this review. If you've seen this movie, say what you think about it in the comments below. And that's it. Bye.